An in-ground pet containment system is a terrific option to keep your pets safely contained in your yard. At PetSafe, we're committed to developing products that safely and effectively help you contain your pet. An in-ground containment system is a great option because it's so much cheaper than a traditional fence, much easier to maintain, and it doesn't block your view. This video is designed to help you plan your wire layout and install your system, as well as how to train your pet. Let's go. Now let's get familiar with how the system works. Now we're going to use this system to demonstrate, and yours may look a little different, but they all function about the same. Your system works by producing a radio signal that is sent through this fence transmitter. Now the transmitter will send a radio signal through the boundary wire that you'll bury in your yard. Now this wire will have a radio signal that will radiate through it, and it will be at a range from 2 up to 12 feet on either side of the wire, depending on what setting you have your transmitter set on. You'll choose this setting based on your dog's temperament. Your pet will wear this receiver collar, which has contact points that will touch your pet's skin. If your pet goes near the boundary wire that's buried in your yard, he will receive a tone followed by a mild static correction. This is a term that we use to refer to the correction that's issued by the collar. It's similar to shuffling your feet across carpet and touching a doorknob. It isn't harmful, but it will get your pet's attention and it will encourage him to stay within the safe zone of your yard. Your system may also include this test light tool. It serves many functions. It can serve as a wrench to tighten or loosen the battery module that's in your receiver collar. It also can tighten or loosen the contact points in the receiver collar. And it's a test light tool to confirm that your receiver collar is working. You use this when you're performing what we call a short loop test. We have a video to help you perform this if you ever need to. Your system also includes these boundary flags. These are to help reinforce the training that you'll be doing with your pet once your system is installed. Your system may also include a toolkit to help you splice your wire if you need to when you're planning your wire layout. It includes gel filled caps which will ensure that your splices are waterproof. Now this system provides enough materials to contain about a third of an acre or 500 feet. We have additional wire and boundary flags available to you should you need to enclose a larger area. We also have transmitters that are designed to enclose up to 25 acres. So be aware of what system you have and think about how much area you want to contain just in case you need additional tools. To design your layout and install your system, it may help to draw out the major features of your yard and draw in the wire as you would like to have it installed. You may find that some of your landscape features will throw a curve in your design that you didn't anticipate, and it's much better to discover this on paper rather than digging in your yard multiple times. You will lay your wire out around your yard and test the system before you actually bury it. Here are some important things to consider in planning your wire layout. Avoid sharp angles in your design, as these can create inconsistencies in the radio signal. Be aware that the wire will produce a signal from 2 to 12 feet on either side of the wire, depending on how you adjust the setting on your transmitter. Even though an in-ground pet containment system will only be buried 1 to 2 inches below the surface, you should contact your local utility company to mark any underground cables and wires that are located on your property. In most communities, this is a free service. If you must cross underground electrical wires or buried cable in your wire layout design, plan to cross them at a 90 degree angle with your wire or be at least three to five feet away from the wire. Consider the areas of your yard and your home which you wish to make accessible to your pet. In planning your layout, there may be areas such as outside of your doorway or near landscaping where you wish to cancel the signal and allow your pet to come and go from these areas. You can cancel the radio signal in the wire by twisting the wires together, almost as you would a bread tie. Be sure to twist the wire 10 to 12 times per foot in order to cancel the signal. It may help to have someone hold the wire while you twist it. You can also use a drill to twist the wires together. You can use this twisting wire technique to create nearly any layout you want for your pet. Here is another important thing to consider as you're planning your wire layout. The radio signal that is sent through the boundary wire can actually go through the walls of your home. So you should consider this as you're planning your wire layout. 
You may need to move the wire further away from your home so that your pet doesn't receive a static correction when they're inside. If you want to create a passageway for your pet, you'll need to move the wire a little further away. Your pet can receive a static correction from the interior of your home if the wire is too close. The best thing you can do is to take your pet's receiver collar and experiment with this a little bit, moving the wire further away if you need to or adjusting the boundary width. And you can always remove your pet's receiver collar whenever they're in your home if you need to. Once you've determined your layout, go ahead and lay the wire around your yard as you would like to have it installed. You will go ahead and twist the wire and use splicing as you need to. You will also want to choose a location for your transmitter. It should be at least three feet away from large metal objects and be in a dry area. Plug your transmitter into a standard wall outlet. Connect the boundary wires into the terminals of your transmitter. Now install the battery in your pet's receiver collar and using the receiver collar, walk to the boundary wire to test the system. To make it easier on yourself, you may want to wait to install your boundary wire whenever your lawn is moist. For small lawn installations, you can use a sharp garden spade or a gas-powered lawn edger. You will only need to split the sod going down just two to three inches. It will also help to cut the lawn at a 45 degree angle. Slip the length of wire in with your fingers or push with a flat wooden paint stick. You can have a friend follow behind you as you go, tapping down the earth by walking the line. Be sure to avoid pulling the wire too tight, as it will need to expand and contract a little bit with temperature changes. Once you've completed these steps, you're ready to start training your pet. With your system on, take your dog's receiver collar in your hand and walk up to the buried wire. At the point where the collar starts to beep, plant one of the boundary training flags. Repeat this every 8 to 10 feet. The flags will serve as an important cue as you're training your dog. If you are unable to hear the tone from the receiver collar as you're checking your boundary wire, you can use your test light tool. The light in the center of the test light tool will illuminate as the receiver collar locates the boundary. Now you're ready to place the receiver collar on your dog and begin training. We've also prepared a training video to help you with this step, as well as some troubleshooting videos should you have any issues with your in-ground containment system. Our customer care reps are also standing by, so after you've watched this video and read the manual, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to give them a call. And most of all, we hope that you'll enjoy the freedom that your PetSafe containment system provides for you and your pet. Most of all, thanks for choosing PetSafe. Come on, let's go.